Behind us is the RH250. We're gonna go on over and take a look inside. Here we are inside the RH250. In front of us here is a 250 horsepower boiler with a design pressure of 250 PSI. As you can see, this is a little bit smaller boiler, so there's plenty of room to get down beside the boiler and uh, operate the pressure controls. The level controls, the pump control, and the pressure controls are all located on the side of the boiler at a very easily accessible part. Now, this is like all of our other units. We have a natural gas train that comes into the boiler and enters into the bottom side there. The, again, we have all of the oil controls and oil lines and oil pumps. Um, as we move over to this, this side of the boiler, again, we have the new boiler link system. This is the touchscreen interface to operate everything inside of this portable boiler room. The electric panels, where the electric comes in and is distributed amongst all of the various systems. Now we're gonna head up to the front and look at the rest of the equipment. As we come to the front of the container, one of the first things you'll notice is this feed water station. The feed water system is made up of a 225 gallon stainless steel feed water tank. On the front here is a modulating ball valve for feed water control to the boiler. This is a modulating ball valve for makeup water. And here is a modulating ball valve for steam control from the boiler to the feed water system. Now, below the tank, are two feed water pumps. Each of these pumps are sized for 100% of the system. So we have one pump that is always running and one for backup, so we have a 100% redundant system. In front of the feed water system, we have a chemical pump and chemical tank. The chemical pump and tank make sure that the boiler is supplied with the appropriate chemicals for great operation. In front of that, we have this oil pump, again, providing the correct oil pressure to the burner so that you can run the boiler on oil as well as natural gas. As we come to the very back of the container, we have a 500 gallon uh, fuel tank. Above the 500 gallon fuel tank is a heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is used from the steam for, from the boiler, comes up and goes over and produces hot water for your system. Uh, as we move over to the side of the container, we have this duplex water softener system. Again, the water softener system ensures that you have the highest quality water and very soft water for the boiler to run on. As we look up into the ceiling area, we have the steam lines running from the boiler. On the right side, we have the steam line running to the heat exchanger. And on the left side, we have the steam line running to the feed water container. Now, we do have some other components at the back of the container, including a blowdown separator, as with all of our units, and the air compressor for the oil lines is also back there as well. But that completes what we have in the RH250.